Let's talk about Bruce Springsteen. Lots to talk about there. And I apologize that I sound like garbage this morning. A little bit under the weather. We're just sitting here getting excited and getting ready for Western Stars. When Bruce brings the news on us that he's got a whole E Street Band album now waiting to go. So for those of you who are like, oh, I'm looking forward to this new record. But what about the E Street Band? And for those of you that are like, oh, I heard that first song. It stinks. I hate it. What about the E Street Band? Well, this is something for everybody then. There's a little something for everybody here. Uh, Springsteen sat down with Martin Scorsese at the uh, Hollywood Conversation. What is it? Uh, Hollywood. Uh, what was the event called? It was Hollywood Conversation is what it was called. What a terrible name for an event. Anyway, the whole point of it is uh, to get Emmy voters to, you know, vote for his Netflix show. Springsteen on Broadway, because that's going to be up for, or at least they're trying to get that up for an Emmy. So they do these events in Hollywood. It's an industry kind of thing, and all the people come out. And who's not going to, who's not going to come out for Scorsese, Springsteen, talking about stuff? Anyway, they started talking about song inspiration and where songs come from, and this is what Bruce had to say. And I quote: "You have to capture a little piece of the divine." And it can come in many, many forms. But whenever I really have written something that I felt has some quality to it, there's always that little piece of, I'm not exactly sure where that came from. I know how I got here or how I got there, but it's like I've spent about seven years without writing anything for the band. I couldn't write anything for the band. And I just said, well, of course, you'll never be able to do that again. And it's a trick every time you do it, you know, but it's a trick that because of that fact that you can't explain cannot be self-consciously duplicated. And it has come to you in inspiration. And then about a month or so ago, I wrote an almost an album's worth of material for the band. And it came out of, I just mean, I know where it came from, but at the same time, it came out of almost nowhere. And it was good, you know? I had about two weeks of those little daily visitations. And it was so nice. He laughed out loud, continuing the quote. It makes you so happy. You go expletive. I'm not expletive. All right. There'll be another tour. So a couple of F-bombs dropped in there from a man, Bruce, talking about, uh, you know, that he was done, you know, that he was in a rough place, that uh, there wasn't going to be a tour anymore. But uh, he wound up pulling one out uh, despite the fact of being blocked for quite some time when it came to writing material for the E Street Band. There's a couple of interesting things in what he said there, which you do hear from a bunch of songwriters, and that's that, you know, they don't know where a lot of this material comes from. They can tunnel things. They can have a feel of a certain way. You know, they could, you know, want to, some like writing on the bus, on the, the road, some like writing in the studio, all that kind of thing. But wherever people write from, there's always something that comes up that they go, oh, I, you know, they kind of wonder themselves how that came up with. I like how he said, you got to have a little bit of the divine, you know, which is such a great way to put it. You got to have, a, you got to capture a little piece of the divine. Um, as far as Western stars goes, we talked about this and him wanting to kind of write a Glenn Campbell album. So that was clearly the inspiration for that. But I find it pretty interesting. And even though he worked on that for quite some time, that now that that is coming to fruition, all of a sudden, all this other stuff sort of kind of comes right out of him. And now we got another Eastery Band album, hopefully on the horizon, which is really, really exciting. Because I know a lot of people are freaking out because like Lil Steve Van Zandt is out right now and he's doing uh, a lot of media. He just put out a record. He's on tour. You know, people are asking him. People are asking Nils, like, when's the next Eastery Band record? And they're all standing there going, I don't know. And that was apparently true because, uh, you know, about a little, what did it say, a month or so ago? About a month or so ago, Bruce finally wrote some material for them. So they weren't lying to you and they said they didn't know. Um, it took a little while for Western Stars to get here. So no doubt, even though this material has been written, I don't think we'll see it anytime soon. He's obviously busy doing some stuff for the Springsteen on Broadway Netflix show, trying to get that Emmy nominated and a win. Uh, and then he's got uh, Western Stars coming out June 14th, and then there might be a tour around that. Who knows? Uh, nothing has really uh, been solidified just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if he puts a little solo thing together. 
even if it is just a limited run in a couple of dates, uh, late summer, or early fall. Um, and then, you know, it's like I said, Stephen Van Zandt's out. Uh, Nils is out. I think Nils is doing Crazy Horse with Neil Young. So there's a lot of people that are out right now. Obviously, I, I would guess 2020. But, uh, you know, the good thing about that is we're always looking at stuff to put on our most anticipated albums list of the year. So that's nice. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, but I'm super, super excited about the uh, prospect of getting a new E Street Band record. I think it's amazing. And uh, I'm glad to see that he's uh, writing again. You know, I had uh, Ricky Lee Jones on the show, and she told me something once. It was, honestly, I thought her greatest interview ever. And not because I did it. I think I kind of got lucky. But um, I had her on the show one time, and she had just put out a covers record. And I was like, why did you put out a covers record? Why did you choose now? And she was like, Aunt, frankly, I just, I hadn't, I couldn't write. And I was, she's like, writer's block is real. She's like, I just couldn't write. And I was hoping that, you know, and I'm paraphrasing for her here, but she said, I'm hoping that, you know, me working on these songs here, that something will eventually get inspired and come out of me. I mean, you know, you talk about waiting for the divine or waiting from wherever, who knows where these things come from. You know, Ricky Lee's one of the great songwriters of our time. And she she sat there on the phone and told me, like, yeah, I don't I just I just couldn't write. I mean, it's crazy how it's like a pitcher losing their fastball or a hitter not being able to hit home runs anymore. You know, sometimes these things are unexplainable. Sometimes people go on really cold streaks. And Bruce in all his greatness looks like he went on an almost seven year run here. Because when did High Hopes come out? Was that twenty twelve, I think? So it's been a little while been a little while but at least we know he's got some material together and we'll wait and see what he does of course if there's any other announcements about western stars and a tour we'll have that for you right here on the morning show with anthony you can uh, take that to the bank